Good morning. Can you smile? Yeah, there's a smile. Good morning, vlog. And welcome to today's vlog. Today I'm uh, hanging out with the baby. Huh, we're just hanging out while mom's at a workout. She's talked about it. She's been going to a few Orange Theory classes, so she's there right now, and I am about to get Cove down for a nap. In today's vlog, we are actually packing for our trip to New York. It's gonna be Cove's first time in New York. It's gonna be her first time on a long trip. So let's get packing. All right guys, so we are now packing for New York. We leave in a couple days and we're actually literally going for like a little over 24 hours, I think. We leave on Monday and then we come back on Tuesday. So I was actually not even gonna take Cove with me and I was gonna go with Lauren cause that's like our bestie girl place that we love to go. But I didn't wanna have to figure out like pumping and storing my milk and bringing it home and like all that stuff. And I was kind of nervous for Cove to have like that many bottles in a row. She's always taken a bottle fine and then breastfed fine, but if she like didn't want to breastfeed after I got back or something, I would be so sad. So I decided to take her with me. So her and Parker are both coming. Normally if it was like just me and Parker or just me, I would be taking a backpack, but I do have my suitcase laid out right here. So we're gonna have a lot of extra space in there because I'm a very minimal packer. I don't like to take extra stuff, but since we have a baby now, I need to make sure that we have like enough diapers and all that stuff. So I actually have my clothes laid out right here. I'm going to wear this dress. I'll probably actually wear that with the bra that I'm wearing right now. So I'm not going to put my bra in my suitcase, but I also have my airplane outfit. Kobe is over here taking a little nap. She usually naps in her bassinet, but we are going to lunch in a minute. So I'm going to have to like put her in her car seat. So I didn't want to like put her in there and then have to take her out and then put her in the car seat. Figured it would maybe be an easier transition if she's just like this. Here is my dress for the place that we are going to. And then for my airplane outfit, I just have leggings. And then I like to wear some type of like top. Luma also got wood chips all over our bed. I don't know if you can see. This is inside out, but I like to wear some kind of like top like this that is like good for if I get really hot. And this is also super easy to breastfeed in. So I have that. And then I just have this hoodie. So I'm gonna wear this over that so that if I am hot, I can just like take this off. But yeah, so I'm gonna wear that on the way there and I'm also gonna wear this on the plane home. And then I just used my curling iron. So it's too hot to put in my thing. Also guys, I got this eyelash curler. Oh my gosh, I wasn't gonna show it in this video because I wanted to do a little like before and after of it and I'm already ready for the day. I will do it in a future vlog, but this is like literally amazing. Heated eyelash curler, best thing ever. I'll link it down below for you guys. It works so amazing. I let it heat up for like 20 or 30 seconds. And then, can you see my eyelashes? Like, I don't know if you can tell how curly they are, but they look so good. But anyways, I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna be getting ready in between going to New York. We're not leaving for like a couple days, but I just wanna make sure everything fits. So I'll have that and then I'll have my curling iron and then probably just wear my same shoes. Don't eat mom's clothes. I'm just gonna bring one pair of shoes. So I'll wear them on the plane. You ready to see mine? Yeah. I got this shirt. Cool. With these pants. Cool. With these shoes. Cool. So you're gonna wear those on the plane? Nope. You're one of those. Yep. That I'm makes gonna... everything complicated. See, them. that's how Parker is different than me. Because he doesn't think he should I just think wear his same shoes. You. No, you don't. You have one, two, three. Or are, are you not packing these? No, that's my outfit to wear yeah. on the plane. So I'm being extra practical and wearing my same shoes on the plane. But I what want is this? comfier shoes. It's a, a oh, wait, moisture resistant pack. Was I not supposed to? It's just like in a humid place. This it helps it keep your stuff oh, moist. So should I not throw the other one away from the other side? Probably not. Oh, it's in the trash. Anyways, Parker has his pants, his shirt. I gotta go get my little baggie for these because oh, you gosh. never want to put Guys, shoes Parker is so much more in the same than me. thing. Cause then you get your dirty shoes all over your clothes. You put them in a bag, you know? Mm, I'm not that fancy. But I guess mine are also not in my suitcase cause I'm wearing them cause I'm only bringing one pair. Okay, so now I need to figure out what we need to bring for Cove. I think since we are literally going for one night, I'm gonna give her a bath the night before her cause we only give her a bath every other night cause it's just like kind of too much on their skin to do it every night. So she's not gonna get a bath in New York because we're actually gonna get there at like midnight and then we get home the next night so I can just give her a bath then. But I think I will bring a little thing of baby soap just in case she like poops on herself. I don't know. Um, I'll probably, I need to figure out what outfit for her to wear. Let's see, I need to reorganize this, these drawers. They're a little bit of a mess. I'm gonna do that soon. Let's see, I think I will do this 
for the plane. And this is a good backup outfit because it's only one piece. So it's a little more like simple than having two extra things. What should she wear in New York? I think I'll have her wear this two-piece set. And then I need a backup outfit for that day. I think I'll do this little onesie. And then we like these knotted gowns for PJs. So this should be plenty for one day. So she'll wear, I don't know, what's five things? That's kind of a lot for literally one day. I forgot about a couple of uh, very important things that we need to pack. Her car seat. We didn't forget. I just didn't get to that yet. <laughs> You forgot. No. We have, we wait, her out. bed? Is this her bed? Wait, what is this? Is this the backpack? That's the backpack. Wow. Yeah. That rolls up so compact. Yeah. All right, so I'm packing, making progress. We have Holy crap, is this 15 diapers? She usually goes through like 12 in a day, so I told Parker to bring 15 just to like have extras. So, we have 15 diapers. Parker has his one outfit that he needs. This is the toiletry bag with like face wash and face lotion and deodorant and all that stuff. So, we're gonna make that fit right there. And then on the other side, I have my one outfit. I have my makeup. I'm gonna throw my curling iron in here. I have one pair of pajamas for Cove. This is the outfit she's gonna wear for our full day in New York. And then I also have this little bear suit for her. I feel like this is something you wear like over your clothes. I don't know if I'm gonna even bring this for sure. It's supposed to be like raining I think when we go but she is gonna be always like wrapped up in a blanket so I feel like just having this is actually probably enough and then if for some reason she like peed on this or needed another outfit I could put her back in her PJs or in the plain outfit she's gonna wear or I actually have another little onesie in here so I have enough outfits. She doesn't usually go through two in a day and if she does it's just us like being dumb or mostly me. How I told you guys that sometimes she'll like pee after, like during when I'm changing her diaper. And so that's the only time honestly that she ever really needs like a second outfit, but she only needs a second outfit if I don't have like the new diaper underneath her because if she pees when I'm changing her and the new diaper is underneath her, then it just like goes into the new diaper, you know? So then she doesn't need a second outfit. But sometimes I'm dumb and I don't put the second diaper under her and then she will pee like right when I take away the old one. I would say 99% of the time, unless it's like a blowout, it's avoidable to like have your baby like pee through an outfit or at least for me because the only time that she ever does it is what I just explained. Hopefully she doesn't have a blowout on the plane or anywhere but if she does I have enough outfits to get me through just like literally one day. We are gonna have her in probably that blanket. It's more of like a thicker fuzzy one either that one or her white one and then let's see these are the things that I'm bringing for her like everyday stuff. So this is her swaddle that she sleeps in, but since it's colder now, um, usually we've been wrapping her up in like another swaddle on top, so I do have an extra one. This is her little nose Frida thing, how we get the boogers out of her nose, and this is literally like a necessity. So I have this, and then this is the spray that you put in their nose to like help loosen up the boogers. So absolutely have to have this. She also, I guess I don't need to take these. Maybe I won't take these actually, but this is something that we get for every day, these vitamin D drops. Camera's not focusing on it, but I'll give her these the day we leave and then we come home the next day like I said she's supposed to have these every day but I can give them to her at night so I'm not gonna bring those and then like I said I am I'm gonna put these in the toiletry bag but I am bringing her body wash and her body lotion just in case we had to give her a bath but I am gonna give her one before so we don't need to give her one there and I am gonna bring her hairbrush just in case and she usually will have crazy hair in the morning. So for my diaper bag, I am cleaning it out right now, but I have like eight or nine diapers in here. And then I'm bringing, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna bring a full pack of wipes or not. I feel like I should just to be safe. I wouldn't wanna run out. So I will bring a full pack of wipes because we have to have those anyways. And then I usually have these wet wipes in here to wipe down like the plane and stuff. We also like to have binky wipes in case her binky like gets dropped or something. These are a safe way to clean it. And then we also always like to have a burp cloth with us. So I'm gonna put that in there. She has an extra binky. Luma has gotten to all of her binkies. You can see they're like chewed up, but we sanitize them, so it's fine. And then this is the changing mat that we use. So we have to have this. This is her little head thing that she's gonna wear with this outfit. So I'm gonna shove that in there. And then this is like a dog poop bag. <laughs> These are also good for diapers if there was like a poopy diaper on the plane or something. This is trash. It's an empty gum wrapper thing. I also like to have hand sanitizer. These are just little like hand wipe things. So I'm just gonna shove these in here. I'm gonna put the poop bags in. I think I'll actually put these in one of the side pockets. Is this new? Is there gum in here? Got a pack of gum. And then I also 
throw my wallet in here and then I have chapstick in this front pocket so that's really all that I need and then I also like to have a pack of tissues in here so this is all we need for the diaper bag and then I usually have a pair of socks in here and I also have a onesie in here for if she does have like a blowout on the plane like I said I have an extra outfit in here so it's for like easy access so we don't have to get the suitcase out I always have an extra outfit in here for her so I think that's pretty much it besides I need to just throw my curling iron in here that's pretty much everything that we're taking with us besides her car seat slash stroller and then we have like a big backpack for that and so we put her bed inside of that so that is all that we need for one night i thought we would definitely have like extra room in the suitcase but we kind of don't which is crazy because like i said it's literally like one night but anyways that is how we are packing for our baby and for ourselves for our trip to new york all right guys so it is now the end of the vlog before i end the vlog i've got to do the parker super secret show like we said in our one of our past videos we're going to start doing a comment of the day and a question of the day today's comment is from it's emma and emma said coco is so so cute i know i think she's super cute i think she looks like me so obviously she's super cute if you guys want to have your comment read, make sure you comment down below in the first 10 minutes of when the video goes live. So you might need to turn on your post notifications in order to do that. Now I'm going to read the question of the day. And this question is from Sum Lee. She said, how do you guys rent a car if you're under 25? Travel hack for you guys. You don't actually have to be 20. I think it's actually 26 that you have to, they say you have to be to rent a car. But I rented a car when I was 20. 21. So the trick is you actually just have to pay a lot more money. They make you pay for a a lot more expensive insurance policy or something. So travel hack, you actually can rent a car before 26. I've done it a ton of times. So if you guys are trying to travel and you're under 26 and you want to rent a car, just know you got to pay quite a bit more money, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, that's it for today's vlog. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to have your question read in the next vlog, make Make sure you guys comment down below your question with the hashtag Parker Super Secret Show. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in our next vlog. Bye.